sounds pretty good, right? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, very short video. We're going to have a look at this AJAS AK870 keyboard and a very cheap monitor light Blitzmax BM ES1 Plus. Both sent from Banggood. They ask, hey Ryan, want to test this on the channel? I said, of course, send it over. I think my viewers will like that. Without any further ado, let's cover this keyboard, the AK870, a mechanical keyboard, 80% size. And for me, that I'm not an expert on the matter, I can tell the sound of the keys are absolutely fantastic. Listen to this, guys. Typing with this keyboard, in my opinion, is pretty easy. For example, in comparison to the Fnatic keyboard, I do less mistakes. One thing I should mention, this is very personal. I wish that enter key was two rows high, being just one sometimes I accidentally press the upper button. This one, in terms of switches, has the Flyfish switch, which in my opinion provides a very smooth and responsive feel, both for typing and gaming. The keycaps are PBT, not ABS, two color injection. I think it gives a more quality feel in terms of durability. I think the community agrees with that, they are better. The manufacturer also included in the box this key removal tool. So guys, this keyboard, five gasket layers, this is what the manufacturer says. I didn't open this keyboard yet. Please comment down below. If you want to see a short video of that, I can open it for you. One thing I can say, it does sound pretty, pretty good, guys. In terms of profile, as you can see, the two top rows are slightly raised in comparison to the others. And at the bottom row, you can see the space bar. It's also raised in comparison to the other keys. Personally, I found it helpful when you want some fast typing. One of the main features of this keyboard is its connectivity and you have three different modes to connect to your computer. So you got the wired mode, self-explained. You got the Bluetooth mode where you can select up to three computers and you got the old fashioned way, the USB dongle. On top of that, you have this switch on the back where you can select between the Mac computer or a Windows computer. I did use it on the Mac briefly and I had zero issues with it. In comparison to the Logitech, it's just a matter of preference. Logitech has that chiclet type keys, which I like very much. But yeah, you can use it on the Mac if you wish to. Small detail, the control option command are also printed on the keys. In terms of battery, 4000 mAh and this is how we check the battery, pretty cool. I believe we are on 90%. I never try it long term, so I'm gonna do it and I'll keep you guys posted down in the comments. And of course, if you are into RGB, this keyboard got you covered. The LEDs are south facing, facing the user. And in terms of modes, there are quite a lot to explain in just one video. Let me know if you want to see it in detail, I can do a short for you guys. Basically, you can change the modes, you can change the color, brightness, even the direction of the wave of the RGBs. Quite comprehensive if you are into this. You got that option that when you press the key, it illuminates the whole row or just the key itself. Yeah guys, pretty cool if you are into this. Let me know, I can do a short video for you. And of course, guys, gaming. I never had any issues with it. Pretty responsive, if you ask me. Although, I only use the wired mode. But yeah, I, I try it, I enjoy it. Especially for these FPS games. Funny enough, you got a button for FPS and another button for the League of Legends that will illuminate the keys for each game. Pretty cool. Yeah guys, my thoughts about this keyboard, very positive. I do love the sound of the keys, connectivity wise, very comprehensive. The only downside for me was that sticker with the brand above the cursors, the sticker came off straight away out of the box. Apart from that, there's not a lot of negative points so far. Now guys, let's have a look at this monitor light also sent from Banggood to complement the setup here. Very cheap, it costs around 20 euros, 22 dollars, something like that. And yes, this remote wireless controller where you can change the temperature, five steps, and the brightness again, five steps. This is the coolest setting. 
and now let's turn the brightness all the way down and back all the way up so you need to keep pressing yeah it's pretty bright let's make it warm again because of its price you need to supply your own AAA batteries according to the manufacturer yes 6500 looks of brightness and with this clip you can see the difference between cold light and warm light depending on your preference i do like it warm and with a very low brightness it does help during the night while i do some work or even when i'm gaming in a dark room in terms of design this one is a bit different it's square many other monitor lights are a bit roundish and on the front you can see a touch buttons for the temperature brightness and of course turn it off or on on the left side you can see the logo blitz max printed in white and by using that clip you can see the monitor light is quite raised from the top of the monitor there's a bit of a gap there which is probably not my favorite but i guess it's on personal preference from this angle you know what i mean yeah it does stick out a little bit above the monitor but it does illuminate the table quite well as you can see from this clip if you notice it doesn't glare on the screen and yeah quite a bit difference on the table there let me turn it off now so you can see the difference yeah two great additions to my setup i do recommend both products for the price you cannot ask for much more i'm going to leave a link down below so guys can check the current price if you enjoyed the video click the like button and please guys consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much for your support like always thank you very much for watching and hope i can see you all in the next one